Hi, it's Karen, the Weekend Craftaholic. Thanks for joining me. I do have a couple of new favourites and I've also got a couple of old favourites to share with you. So I'll start with the old favourites and it's going to be adhesive tape. You can see here I've got a few different rolls from a few different brands as well. This started off like this. I've used so much of this throughout September with paper piecing, getting stuff done. It's been a lifeline actually because if I'd have used a little glue tape roller, I would it would have cost me a fortune. So these have been a bit of a lifeline. I've rekindled my love of these adhesive tapes with all of the Christmas card making I've done, paper piecing. These are an old favourite for sure. A few different brands as well. This one's Express It. I've got scrapbook.com and I've also got a Chalk Creations. I don't find much difference between any of them to be honest. They all attach really easily the backing comes off really easy amongst all of them but definitely a staple in anyone's craft room i'm pretty sure and as you can see i've got different thicknesses as well which is why this one's been used a little bit more than the others that is probably the craft supply that i've used right september more than any other i guess my paper trimmer came pretty close but my poor paper trimmer died a death even with new blades it's just got jammed i think i'd overused it trimming down all of those paper scrap pieces the other old favorite that i'm going to mention and again this came from doing a de-stash this time of all of my kits and collections is the citrus twist stamps you get one of these free each month when you've got a subscription and I've forgotten how much I love these stamps. Um, I've not actually used this one, as you can see. This was an extra one that I purchased one time. If you've never used them, I would say these are my most favourite clear stamps that I have come across. All the other brands, they really good impressions. See, this one is well used and well loved. Um, I love the fonts that they use. There's always a really nice selection that you can use, whether it's in your planner or your scrapbooking. But these I came across, so I've put these away with all the rest of my stamps and I've taken them out of the kits. And I'm sure I'm going to be able to use them a bit more than I was before now that they're out with all of the rest of my stamps. So that is it for my old. I literally had two old favourites to share with you. The three new ones that I want to share with you though. And I came across a new channel again this month. This was Positively Paper Crafts. So she's obviously got heaps and heaps of followers and quite rightly so i came across her because i was looking at some laminating ideas and i really love watching her listen to that british accent and seeing some of the unique ideas she has when using laminating so she is definitely one of my favorites that i've subscribed to and i will be eagerly awaiting that little notification when she posts a new video i've also come across a new instagram account now gina loves to craft has been with me along the journey, along my YouTube channel journey. I think we started around about the same time. She's far more popular than I am. She posts quite regularly and she's a gorgeous American lady that has only recently joined Instagram. And again, she's only joined Instagram in September and already she's far exceeding um, me in terms of followers and so on. So that gives you a good idea of how good she is. But if you've not come across Gina before, either on YouTube or Instagram, definitely check her out because she does post quite regular and she, she's just a gorgeous, sweet uh, lady to listen to. And then the other thing that I've come across, which you will probably guess if you saw a recent craft haul that I did with Uniquely Creative. Now, they're a South Australian company. I've heard of them for a long time, never actually purchased from them. And now that I have ordered from them and I can see the quality of the paper and the supplies you get, I'm definitely going to be a firm fan and ordering more in the future. But check out their website. They do subscription kits, they do mini kits, or you can just buy like I did straight from the shop but they have some gorgeous designs as well to choose from. So they're my three new favorites that I came across in September. Only a couple of old ones because I feel like I've not really done much creating. It's just been more stash busting. But hopefully it's business as usual in October. So hopefully you'll join me for my October favorites in about four weeks time. And hopefully I will have a few more things to share with you in that video. But thank you for watching. Have a great crafting week and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.